2023 is this initiative, which if it's passed, it would suspend California's AB 32 until the state's unemployment rate falls below five and a half percent. Given the state's current unemployment rate, it would be years until California's AB 32 could go ahead. And the reason this matters to environmentalists is California's AB 32 is this leading piece of legislation pushing the state to combat uh, climate change and to reduce its greenhouse gas emissions. So if, if, if Prop 23 passes, California won't be a world leader in reducing its greenhouse gas emissions for a long time. So at the heart of AB 32, is we produce greenhouse gas emissions in many ways, in our buildings, uh, in our vehicle sector, in agriculture, in, in, in how we generate electricity. So for every part of our economy, the Air Resources Board, who has the regulatory authority, the Air Resources Board is designing incentives and policies to try to find the sweet spot of how to simultaneously achieve carbon mitigation goals while encouraging economic growth. And so this is a prime role for an economist. It's the job of an economist to design incentives to try to achieve a win-win. A win-win is easier said than done. Uh, but, but this Prop 23 would bring all of this to an end. We have a fear of the unknown. And AB 32 it raises a whole bunch of unknowns. I don't know the answer to how much will electricity prices go up by? How will this affect our vehicle fleet? What types of buildings will we have to build moving forward? There are many unknowns associated with AB 32, and it's reasonable. It's human nature during a recession to say, will this affect my job? And I can tell you about a piece of my recent research that, uh, that Rush Limbaugh has actually commented on. In recent research with Matt Cochin of Yale, we documented the following fun fact. We documented that in those states where unemployment, where the unemployment rate has increased the most, people are less likely to be using Google to be searching for global warming. They're using Google to search for unemployment this is just pocketbook issues. They're searching for unemployment in those states where the unemployment rate is rising and they're less likely to be searching for global warming. And so environmentalists, to build a political constituency where moderates will join an Al Gore to say, I want to pursue climate legislation, environmentalists need a boom. And so an irony here is many environmentalists have mixed feelings about capitalism, saying if we're all rich, then we're gonna have a big carbon footprint. But to enact, radic to enact new legislation that really is a game changer, you need the middle class, the moderates, to be in the mood. The political left will always support this. The political right will never support this. You need the swing voters in the middle to support this. And I believe the supporters of Prop 23 smelt that the middle, the moderates are on the fence. A question that the economists of UCLA have been debating, and perhaps we don't know the answer, is how in the midst of this deep recession, and it's been a terrible recession, how will California get its groove back? I don't think it's gonna be Hollywood. I don't think it's gonna be aerospace. A, I think that the green economy, there is a little bit of hype to the green economy, but I think that the combination of California's research universities, our nerds, our progressivism and the venture capital money creates a, a green brew. Uh, it creates the possibility that the green economy could be our next groove. And so what AB 32 does is it acts as a commitment device. It sends clear signals to venture capitalists. If you invest your serious money in the green economy, you will be rewarded for that. The venture capitalists want clear signals. They don't want the Obama administration or the governor saying one day, yes, you know, go wind power, go solar, and you'll be rich. And the next day saying, no, we're ending those tax incentives. They want clear signals. And AB 32 offers clear signals to help create perhaps a self-fulfilling prophecy that if California makes these investments, our nerds will make discoveries and the net result will be a nascent green economy.